Hello, good evening, people of God. It's a joy to be with you again on God's podcast. I, we are grateful to God who has kept us alive and I'm wearing it's about 9 p.m. or a few minutes after 9, Nigerian time. We trust that the Lord will give us a very enriching session in his presence. Let us say a word of prayer. Almighty God, we thank you tonight, the giver of life you are. Please, Lord, perfect whatever you want to do in the lives of your people through the ministry of your word. Teach us that we may learn your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We've still been on the series on models of transformation and uh, looked at a few models. We've seen the new creation model, we've seen the heart model, and then we saw the character development model or the maturity model. Tonight we want to look at the value systems model. Um, I'll read a few passages of scripture and we'll make progress as the Lord helps us. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, um, it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Um, I'll read another passage, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 yeah the Bible uh, admonishes here um, as the instruction it says finally brothers whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is whatever is pure whatever is lovely Whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Praise the Lord. Awesome scriptures. Value systems models. Um, the passages we've just read try to establish a perspective to what value systems should look like. In scripture, in Matthew 6, 33, that talks about seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all other things that we need added, added to us. If you look at the Amplified Version, uh, I don't have it here to read to you, but you might cross-check it. There are some interesting words that are used there to portray that scripture and paint it in a light that makes a lot of meaning. Um, he says, seek first the kingdom of God, and then in bracket, God's ways of doing things. God's ways of doing things. So our God has the way, his ways, the ways he will do his things. Uh, I, I came across the scripture in one, Psalm 103, verse 7, where the Bible says that God taught or showed Moses his ways and the children of Israel, his acts. In Exodus 33, Moses actually made a prayer uh, from verse 14, when he asked the Lord to go with him, otherwise he's going nowhere. He also said, show me your ways. Show me your ways. So there's, there, God has a culture. God has a system. He has his way of oppression. And in other words, we're saying God, a value system because his value system or your value system is about the things that make for priori priority attention or the things that um, or ideas or principles or standards that are enshrined and form the integral part of your whole being they, they are they are the foundation of your life. Your life 
systems and ideas and philosophies upon which um, your life is built on. I came across a few definitions I want to read to you about um, if, what a value system is and what values are. First of all, I um, came across this definition of values on, online that says values are principles, standards, or qualities that an individual or group of people hold in high regard. So principles, standards, and qualities. So every individual or group or organization is known by what they value. Every person has his own values. He has his own standards. His, um, his operating mood, whatever um, determines and influences how he responds, how he relates, how he operates. So there are principles, standards, and qualities that an individual or group of people hold in high regard. All right, so a value system uh, by definitions.net is a set of consistent ethic values and measures used for the purpose of ethical or ideological integrity. A well-defined value system code. So it's about consistent ethic or values and measures used for the purpose of ethical or ideological integrity. So integrity is key about your value. What you value uh, makes you whole. It gives you a shape. It determines your shape, your, your, in, your integrity. All right? So... Um, I, I came up on my own with this definition, and I, and I hope it's helpful to you. Um, I'll define a value system as my ideologies or philosophies that influence how I live my life. My personal ideologies. So my value system as a person is about my personal ideology. So you can have personal value systems, you can have group um, value systems. All right, I also consider it as a set of principles that influence the course of my life. All right? And also form the basis for things I, 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 I consider worth for. Things I consider worth for. That means things I consider of great importance and worth. All right? So these principles influence my life in a direction based on things I consider worthful. And so, when you look at all these, you, you, you come to the realization of what the Bible considers. When, G, when the Bible talks about, in Matthew 6.33, um, seeking first God's kingdom in the context of God's ways of doing things. So the kingdom of God has its ethical operations. It has its the way things are being done. And Jesus personified these things. In our study about the man Jesus, all right, um, to be able to learn his ways, all right? So if you want to understand the ways of Jesus, you study his person, you study his person, all right, to be able to understand his ways. So, his, his kingdom is personified in him. So if you want to understand kingdom value systems, you study Jesus. And honestly, why is it a transformational model? It's so because it has a way of molding who you become. And it's critical that we follow a definite value system based on Bible. It doesn't change. From generation to generation, Honestly, that will determine the course of life in the society at large. And if people begin to adopt the kingdom values as a system of oppression for life, you understand that this life, this world will just change because the transformation that it, it, the, 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 the transformation that it brings to society, it has so much capacity that can transform society. All right, because whatever values and uh, principles and codes uh, that God and standards uh, that God is giving to us to follow is for the purpose of our transformation. 
ultimately that we may resemble him. It falls back to um, connecting with the new creation model, the heart model, all right? The um, character development model. All the models we have looked at from day one. And so I want, I, want to, I want to look at a few things that are highlighted in Philippians 4 8, which I consider values, all right? It's true. It's whatever things are true. And what it means is honesty, reliable. I, I discovered um, my spiritual father, the Bishop Kwashi, at Bishop Benjamin Kwashi, um, told me some time ago, about 12, 13 years ago, he said to me, Prince, I'm in a business of raising honest men. Um, he, he came to discover that a lot of people in the world today, even when they don't know Jesus, they have value for honesty. They, they appreciate the value of honesty, and so they want to do business with people that have honesty. That you have, to have honest, to, to be honest means you have integrity. It means you are reliable. It means you you can say the truth. You you are not unreliable, which is a negative value, in in the sense of it. So honesty is key. God told Jeremiah, if I walk across um, the streets of Jerusalem and I see one man that is honest, I will spare the land. How many people are honest today? There is a call for honesty. I, I, I want to urge you to consider a value of honesty. Don't say it is old-fashioned. Don't say it, it, is, it is in the past. No. It is in our present. It is always present. So whatever things are true, the second one is noble. Whatever is dignified, whatever is respectable, especially in this ignoble society, we find ourselves, men are corrupt, people don't value nobility, people think, ah, it's my turn to be corrupt and I didn't start it, I won't end it. They want to continue a vicious cycle of ignobility. No, there is a call for respect. There is a value that can be dignified. You can be dignified. And then the next thing is right. Whatever conforms with God's standard, to be right means to conform with God's standard, it's, it's the value system of all time. For you to protect and promote what God protects and promotes, to call true what God calls true, and call a lie what God calls a lie. It doesn't matter whose ox is God. People work in companies, in um, organized um, corporate bodies, and doing what is right is old-fashioned. They laugh at you if you promote what is right. No. It's, a, it's, it's an ageless value. I urge you to consider it. All right? The next one is pure. To be pure means to be unmixed. It's a moral value. It means to stand in holiness. It means not to be mixed up. It means to be homogeneous. To be pure is a value. Don't allow people to run down your, your pursuit to be pure. And I pray for you, even if something has contaminated you in any way, let the blood of Jesus purify you once again, in the name of Jesus. You can be restored through repentance, in case you have left it, in case you have lost it. There is a way out. Hallelujah. And then it says, whatever things are lovely, anything that provides for peace, anything that promotes peace, anything that promotes the highest grace of Christian character. Whatever things are lovely. And then finally, whatever things are admirable, positive, constructive. Those are values. Hallelujah. I want to say that we have intrinsic values and extrinsic values. Um, the intrinsic values cannot be seen, they cannot be touched. And those are the core values. They are intangible. They are the most important values, like trustworthiness. People need to be trustworthy today. It's a very core value. It's a major value to be trustworthy. People, based on trustworthiness, can receive loans without collateral on the basis that they know that this man, he will pay. He will pay. There are people who are given um, concessions all right? In court, they, they, they grant them on bail based on personal recognizance. They know this man is a citizen. He's a reputable citizen. He will not run away. 
So they grant them bail on personal recognizance. All right? So it's about being trustworthy. It's a value that is fastly eroding in society today. All right? So the main values of life are intangible. Praise the Lord. Your character. Your character. Your character is a pure value. Every true value system must be kingdom-based. Hallelujah. Every true value must be kingdom-based. I've said that earlier on uh, because we're talking about seeking first God's kingdom, His ways of doing things. So the Bible is a compendium of values. You look at the Bible to follow up on values. A few other tr uh, true values that you want to adopt, apart from trustworthiness, is honesty. Uh, we talked about it when we tried to evaluate and uh, uh, portray some Philippians 4, 8. Honesty, all right? And then respect for time, punctuality. There's what we call in this part of Africa, Africa man time. That means meetings begin when everyone has gathered, not the particular time it was scheduled. And in Africa, we, are, we usually say that the king can never come late to a meeting. It can only be said that others came earlier. And they say that the, the African man time runs anti-clockwise. All right, people talk about killing time. You can't kill time. Time is neutral. It keeps moving. Of course, it, to kill time is suicide, actually, because you're losing life. Every second you lose cannot be added. You cannot regain it. Make punctuality a virtue. At some point in my life, I, I live my life in the hands of people who give, who give me appointments, and they will say, I will be in your house by 10 a.m. Next, the next morning, and I will, I will play down on my activities, expecting them. 10 a.m., they are not there. 11 a.m., they are not there. And I have those hours as my peak hours. And I'll just notice that once we are out of that time, I've lost the day. Until I decided to be very firm. All right? So you tell me you're coming by 10. If I've not seen you by 5 minutes past 10 or 10 minutes past 10, I'm off. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be too rigid, but sometimes I just have to implement such value. Praise the Lord. All right? So there's a value for service. Time will fail us to really talk about this. But that's the mark of leadership. In fact, serving people is how you deliver your values to them. There's also the value for truth. Truth has gone into hiding. In the world today, it's even very laudable to, to, to tell lies. Lies sell faster than truth, but not with you. There is the value for human life. We're in a world today where, in this part of the world especially, people die, criminals will go to villages, bandits, criminals, Boko Haram, militants, and uh, killer headsmen, kill over 300 persons in the community and nobody talks about it. We don't have value for the sanctity of human life. In America today, you see racism. You see um, people who feel that people who are men of color are not valuable. Their lives don't matter. And recurringly in the recent times, they've been killing the blacks. People who don't fear God. God is not black. He's not white. Hallelujah. Who must value the life of others. All right, then you must value honor. Dr. Mike Mudok will say that your code of honor determines who promotes you. You must value honor. Honor should be part of your value system. Honor people and expect honor. Even God respects honor. And he will say, I will honor those who honor me. All right? We should value integrity. We've talked a bit about that. But that's like moral uprightness. That's what... Um, it really means. So your value systems could be personal um, that, as it has to do with character um, for the, as, as in the existence of a person. Um, there are group values. There are work values. Alright? Work values are needed to, to carry out jobs. And then there are societal values. What you call the norms of society. Alright? And I want to say a few things and then we'll pray. Um, values precede sentiments and personality. It's your value that shows up before your personality shows up. Whenever you show up, people see what you value before they know who you are. Hallelujah. 
Values determine character. Your value in, in the end influences how you behave. Values are developed with time. And that's why it's a transformational thing. It doesn't happen you know, as an accident or as an emergency. It doesn't happen overnight. The night could really be long. It takes time to build values. Sometimes you have opposing values. Sometimes you find suppressing values of society. Things that want to strangle your values. Don't worry. Just keep working on them and you'll make progress. Values are, um, values are environmental based. Your environment influences your values. In education, they talk about nature and nurture. Nature is about your personality. Nurture is about your environment. These things have a way of influencing what you value. All right? Some people have a value for cheating, malpractice. It's about the environment. Parents will even pay all right, to get scores for their children. And so children don't have value for hard work academically. It's a pity. All right? I also want to say that your value system is a reflection of your virtues. As a matter of fact, values are developed either by virtues or vices. The value system should reflect excellence and praiseworthiness. People should see your value system and praise the value system. Our value system should be structured on the person and work of Christ. Very critical. I've had to you know, say a bit on that in the earlier part of the, earlier part of the broadcast. Our value systems form, are formed by our vices and virtu or virtues. They are our personal standards and disciplines. Our personal, do you have a standard? Do you have a discipline? It is your sense of right or wrong. Ultimately, your value is your culture. Your value system is your personal culture. Is your personal norm. They are your goals. They are your standards. And ultimately, they are your guide. I want to encourage you tonight. Develop your value system. Don't be like a, 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 a plant tossed about in a wind by every kind of value. And be proud of what, who you value. But ultimately, value Christ. Base your value on the person and the works of Christ. I want to pray with you tonight. And it's my pleasure to lead you to Know Jesus, who will help you develop a pure value system. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for my friend who have listened. Lord, as we lead them to your knowledge, cause them to get to know you better and establish their values. Friend, could you just, if you want to give your life to Christ, lead, follow me as I lead you in this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe and confess that you died for me to take away my sins. Today, I repent of my sins. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life and remove my name from the book of death. Give me grace to serve you and I will not go back to sin anymore. So help me God. Amen. When I pray for you that it shall be well with you. I, I commit you unto God's keeping grace. The Lord defend you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord grant you every of your desire. The Lord Give you grace to change from where you are today to a brighter value system. The blessings of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always, now, and forevermore. Amen. Friends, thank you for being part of this broadcast. I'll be glad to get feelers from you. If you have any struggles or challenges, follow us on our Twitter handle at GospelNest on our Facebook page, GospelNest. And on our Instagram page, you can go also to, our, um, to YouTube to download our videos and watch other episodes. I pray that God makes this broadcast a blessing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. See you on Sunday night, 9 p.m. And watch out. Very soon we'll be coming up with our daily meditations on the Gospels. God bless you. Shalom.